Hi, so um, this, is a, this is not a tutorial, uh, but this is the Denon DJ Prime 4 media controller slash DJ controller. And I don't want to talk about every little thing on here because there is a really great film on YouTube, uh, which is basically a tutorial film. And it, it, it tells you everything really, and it, it, you can't go wrong. However, if you want me to do one, then let me know and I'll do one. Um, but it has a lot going on. Uh, there's so much to talk about. I only want to talk about um, one thing today because the planning I put in for this film was, oh, I think I'd like to do a film about that. And that's where we are right now. I haven't planned this at all. But I've got one of my songs here. These are all my songs. And there's a link in the description uh, if you want to get my songs and listen to my songs. I would recommend it. They're fucking amazing. So, um, this is uh, the deck we're going to be using. Uh, it's deck one. Um, the orange, well, ready orange corresponds to the Q button and to the, uh, to the uh, load button and also to the number one button here. There's four channels, so you've got one, three, and two, four. Uh, and one, three, uh, one, two, three, four. And you've got your crossfader and some instantaneous effects and some much more in-depth effects here as well, not to mention these things here. Now, hot cue, which is what we're talking about, is when you place a cue anywhere in the song that you want to trigger instantaneously. For example, if I wanted that, I would just press that. Now, as you can see, it only lasts for as long as my finger is on it. Life trivialized. Life denied. So it's one of those types of pads, but you can change that so that it triggers and plays, like if you were to press the play button. Life trivialized. Life denied. Okay. <laughs> I like having it on that kind of speed. It reminds me of the good old uh, turntables. And so, go back to the first part, uh, I could have pressed that and that would take me back there again. If I want these to play like that, there's something in the setting to do that, but then you can't do that if you want to. So if you want to do that kind of stuff, uh, not finger drumming, but it's like finger drumming on a drum machine where you just trigger samples to, to play at various times. And there's a certain type of music that uh, works like that. Um, various types of music that works like that actually. So uh, if you want to have them set to just instantaneously, then uh, then it comes like that. Oh, Jesus, God. it comes like that. So I've got hot cues already set up on this and I'm going to play the track and I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to let the track play and then I'm going to do something with the hot cues to show you how interesting you can make the song. OK, so here we go. This is the song. By the way, the song is called Mirrors. And I believe it's from volume six, Vignettes, volume six. All my albums are called Vignettes from volumes one to 20. So here we go. By the way, if I hit these while it's still playing, then the music will the music will um, play. I don't have to hold my finger down. By the way, if you want to play, so if you're doing a pattern on this, and then you want it instead of stopping, you want it to play here. You could just hit play and then take your finger off, 
and then take your finger off and it will uh, it will play. So if it's playing and you hit one of these pads, it will start playing from that place. You don't have to keep your finger down. And if you want it to play when your finger's down, you just hit play at the same time. And there you go. So that was the little song mirrors uh, um, from Vignettes Volume 6. Um, available on all streaming platforms. So what I've got here is trigger points. And what I realise is that because the, the melody goes like this, okay, this is the... So there's a very definite chord progression there, but because those chords work together so well in a nice little grouping, you can do other things. So you can cha entirely change the song, which I would, uh, I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to be doing live remixes of my songs. But you get this one, which I'm going to think of what it was again. There you go. That's nice. That's a new chord progression. Oh, I lost it. Bollocks. What was looking for? Life trick. Okay, let's try that again. Why did it have to, it was, it was going quite well and then at the end I just sort of lost it and just went duh, duh, duh. <laughs> I'd love to try that again. <laughs> or wherever else you want to go. <laughs> so because it's live, I never, I didn't plan any of this. So that that's quite funny. Anyway, uh, it's great, isn't it? That's just so cool that you can just go to any point in the song. And if you ever go, like, you're like, oh, what was I going to do next? Or I'm just making it up on the fly. Just you know, um, usually. DJs will put a hot cue right at the shut up right at the beginning of the track. Uh, it's like a default, so just in case, you know, because you don't want to press play, because then it'll just do that. It, it'll go so. See you here. Oh. So yeah. And then you get lost. So you go. Oh no! Oh no! I've switched the song off. They might notice. So if something's like, so it's playing. You get lost. Just back to the start of the track. Reset. Fabulous. Well, I think I should stop there. Um, I haven't done a lot of damage, so best to get out now. Um, I'll be back with another one. God knows what I'll be doing in the next one, but uh, it'll be nice to be able to watch this machine doing stuff. So if you enjoy, uh, please subscribe, uh, hit like, and uh, Tell me if you want me to make a tutorial or tell me what you thought, uh, leave your comments below, try to be nice. And um, if you want to uh, get my music then you know where to go, there'll be the link in the description. And uh, yeah, come back, there'll be lots of videos and there's so many more before this one as well, so uh, get, your, uh, get your fix. <laughs>